salute to hoops guys welcome back another day another video today i got kind of a cooler video for you guys before we get into it um we got the legend himself and yes i'm saying legend he's only 21 years old but he is already a legend in this league for sure we got luka Doncic joining us for this now he's got nothing to do with this video but I got to give props where props are due, and his performance the other day, triple-double against the Kings, was legendary, to say the least. 34 points, 20 rebounds, 12 assists. Definitely, the bubble is his house. He owns it. No one is telling Luka anything, and that's a fact. Moving on, like I said, we got a cooler video today. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe guys subscriber count is going up uh, Slowly but surely like I always say but you know you gotta start somewhere especially uh, In times like this where we got no <laughs> no retail basketball um, I'm just glad I can be giving you guys, you know some content to Hopefully keep you motivated as we wait for retail Chronicles to drop when when that will be I'm not too sure because I was at Walmart today and still no basketball. So, but either way, I'm glad I could be uh, kind of getting you guys through these times and hopefully uh, the subscriber count just keeps coming and I can just keep making videos for you guys. So, tell your friends and let them know what is going on. Salute to Hoops channel. So, we're going to get started right now. Uh, like I said, it's a, kind of a cooler video. I was going through a lot of my older cards and found pretty much some banger rookie cards that uh, were kind of just amongst the plethora of, of cards that I had. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to make a video about it. Maybe you guys can uh, go through you guys' stacks of cards because I know you all got them, we all do, and see if you guys can find some, some hidden gems in there like I did. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our first player here. Portland Trail Blazers. These are all going to be rookie cards, by the way. Uh, but our first player plays for the Portland Trail Blazers, and that is going to be Gary Trent Jr. Now, Gary Trent Jr. is was kind of a kind of a a no namer last year. I mean, no one was talking about Gary Trent Jr. up until the NBA bubble. But I'm pretty sure he's averaging around 14 or 15 points per game. Uh, with the Portland Trail Blazers, I could be wrong about that. That's kind of a shot in the dark, but he's definitely uh, definitely doing his thing for sure. <clears throat> this is from the Status Collection uh, from the eighteen nineteen. Okay, yep. So he's this is his sophomore year this year. So Gary Trent Jr. has definitely got a lot of room to grow. He's showing uh, that he's definitely a player that can play in this league for sure, and I think that he's definitely a player that's going to help. Uh, I don't know about bringing Portland to the play to the finals, excuse me, uh, but uh, Damian Lillard needed some help. I think we all knew that, and uh, Gary Trent Jr. might be the player that could actually, like I said, take them deeper in the playoffs than they usually are. Um, whether or not they can get to the NBA Finals, I don't know because they're in the West. They got to deal with, you know, Houston. They got to deal with LeBron James and the. You know Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers, so Portland's always kind of been that that team where it's like, eh, you know. Um, but maybe this year they can do it. Who knows? It's anyone's game in the bubble. So, but they also got to deal with this man right here, and he's a problem. Uh, so I guess we'll see. It's going to be interesting. Uh, speaking of the Western Conference, we got another player. We're going to put Gary Trent right here. We got another player that has been destroying it in the NBA bubble okay this is a player that really, no one really expected to be playing like this I always knew he was good um, but Jesus Christ and that is gonna be this man himself we got TJ Warren all right TJ Warren Phoenix Suns he's averaging I believe 39 points per game in the bubble so like I said, I don't think anyone really expected it from TJ Warren. Uh, in the past, he had, he always showed like he can definitely score the ball and stuff like that. 
but he must have drank some of that uh, some of that secret secret stuff water from Space Jam <laughs> prior to entering the NBA bubble because he is definitely killing it. Him and Ricky Rubio over there in Phoenix are kind of becoming a pretty good tandem. <sighs> Whether or not these guys can also make it to the NBA Finals is another thing. Uh, Cameron Johnson did have a good game the other day as well. But um, uh, also DeAndre Ayton too, can't forget about him. Uh, he's, he's definitely progressing, uh, being a nice NBA big man talent. I know there were still there were some question marks about him last year, and there kind of are this year still. But DeAndre Ayton can definitely play ball for sure. He can, and he's starting to develop a little jump shot too. So he, he's doing his thing. But uh, yeah, just definitely an interesting rookie card to find. This is from the 2014-15 Threads collection, uh, and it's pretty cool because it's like I think they try to make it like the uh, like the basketball court because that's what it is, like a piece of wood, really, which is super interesting. You don't really see that too often anymore. So yeah, I just thought that was definitely a, a cool find, especially for the way T.J. Warren's been playing. Damn animal. Okay, moving on to the Eastern Conference here. We all we all know I'm a fan of this player already, and I got a bunch of his second year cards. So I thought it was definitely sweet to find one of his rookie cards. We got Bam at a bio. This is from the Prestige Collection, cracked ice rookie card. Bam at a bio. There's really not much to say about Bam. He's already an all-star in the NBA. And the Miami Heat are definitely, definitely a dark horse when it comes to making the NBA playoffs. Sorry, the excuse me, the finals. Um, because Jimmy Butler, they got their two shooters in Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson. Both are pretty are playing pretty well, so. Uh, Bam Adebayo just pretty much completes the team, and yeah, I thought this was a uh, definitely a sweet card to find. Um, now, it's just prestige, but I thought it was pretty cool that I got the uh, cracked ice. So, as we all know, prestige really isn't the top of the line. So, I, I will say this right now, I don't have any, like, prism in here or anything, because uh, I'm more of, like, a budget collector kind of guy, as you all know, but... Nonetheless, still pretty cool cards. So moving on, I don't want this to be too long of a video because it's pretty. It's a large, larger stack. Sec, the uh, next player we got is Jamal Murray uh, from the 2016. Yeah, 2016 rookie year. Uh, Donruss, just a base rookie here. Uh, Denver is also potentially another dark horse team uh, in the NBA. Michael Porter Jr. Uh, is coming out of nowhere and just starting to show what we already knew about Michael Porter Jr. Glad that he's no longer injured and he looks extremely healthy. So Jamal Murray, definitely a cool rookie card to have uh, because he's kind of the kind of the leader, one of the leaders on their team when it comes to pretty much the scoring and passing. Excellent point guard and. Uh, Definitely a point guard that's going to be around for years to come. Moving on, Eastern Conference, we got this man right here, Jason Tatum. Also doing his thing in Boston. Uh, we all knew uh, Jason Tatum's potential. Showed signs last year and this year. He seems to be a lot more consistent. And definitely going to be a player that we're talking about also for years to come. <sighs> So yeah, optic rated rookie. I had no idea that I had this, um, but and I I don't know about eBay comps on him. It's kind of smudged on the top over there, but yeah, definitely a cool card to find in your stash, Jason Tatum, baby. Second, another card we got Lonzo Ball, optic rated rookie. Lonzo and the Pelicans were kind of struggling in the beginning of the bubble. I think they're one in three now, if I'm not mistaken. I don't follow the Pelicans too much other than Zion. Um, but Lonzo Ball definitely showing that um I don't I don't think he's like a superstar by any means. Uh like his dad was hyping him up to be all those years. But um I think Lonzo Ball is gonna be 
definitely a guard that's going to stick around in the NBA for quite a while. So finding one of his Optic Raider rookies is kind of a surprise. I, I don't recall ever getting this, but Lonzo Ball is one of those guys that's got a lot of potential, especially on that Pelicans team. So you never know. I mean, you can only predict so much. Like, I mean, the guy might have a breakout season or, you know, you never know if everyone matures extremely quickly and all of a sudden, you know, we got Lonzo Ball averaging like, you know, 17, 18 points per game uh, when he teams up with Zion and and everyone starts meshing together. You know, Zion's super young. They have an extremely young team. So it's going to be interesting to see what Lonzo Ball stats are looking like in maybe in uh, two years or so. Another player we got, Josh Hart. Another Optic Raider rookie here. 17-18 Optic Raider rookie. Now Josh Hart, um, he's not like a, he's not like killing it by any means. But if you've been watching the, the Lakers games lately, uh, they got Josh Hart. I believe he's coming off the bench. I'm not too sure if he's starting. Uh, I'm not a huge Lakers fan, so I'm, I don't really know too much uh, about their starting lineup right now. But I did watch the game the other day. Uh, and Josh Hart was was kind of doing his thing for sure. I mean, he was shooting threes, playing defense, so uh, definitely an interesting card to find. I don't know what his stats are right now. I think in the last game that I watched, though, he had like 11, maybe 12 points with uh, a few threes, clutch threes to be exact. So uh, this is an older card that I found, um, but definitely a cool card to find. A man that's already solidified his career. We got Mike Conley Jr. And there's really not much to say about him. Right now we all know who Mike Conley Jr. is and what he's all about. So I just thought this was a cool card to find. Tops, Mike Conley, rookie card. I have no idea what the comps would be on this thing, but definitely an interesting find. I believe I found this in one of those Fairfield uh, repack boxes from Target too, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely a cool find in there. Eastern Conference, going back to it right now, guys. We got Karis LeVert. The, uh, I want to say Orange Hollow, maybe. I, I'm not too sure. I'm not too good with like the, uh, the specific names for these, but Karis LeVert is killing it as well for the Nets. Now, the Nets are kind of like hobbling into the playoffs right now. Uh, a lot of injuries on their team. They don't have Kevin Durant, but Karis LeVert uh, is showing that he's definitely going to be a problem in the league. He already is. I believe he's averaging 18 points per game right now. And he's kind of, I mean, he's de uh, no one's going to take Kevin Durant's place. Don't get me wrong. But he's trying to compensate. And I think that when Kevin Durant comes back and him and Karis LeVert team up, it's going to be a problem in, in, uh, in Brooklyn. Definitely a problem. So let's see who else we got. I'm trying to speed the video up here for you guys. A couple more players left, guys. A couple more players. All right. Moving on, we got Brandon Ingram, rookie card, Donruss. Beautiful card here. Beautiful card. I had no idea that. I, th I have actually multiple ones of this, too. Um, which is crazy because Brandon Ingram is becoming a, a star in the NBA. He's showing it in the NBA bubble. I'm uncertain what his averages are right now, guys, but um, if you've watched the Pelicans, I mean, he's becoming uh, one of their primary scorers. He can play defense, super long, super athletic, and definitely a dope card to find. So Brandon Ingram, rookie. Another player that's having a breakout year, this man right here, Jalen Brown. I also have multiple ones of this too, which is crazy. A lot of people forget about Jalen Brown because he's on the Celtics. Um, the Celtics, I mean, they they got rid of Kyrie and they, they had some issues going, but he's one of their, their younger talents. And this is going to be his third year in the NBA. And he is showing that he's also going to be a problem in the NBA can do a little bit of everything, shoots, uh, does a little bit of rebounding, plays defense. So he's kind of an all-around player. And I really think that Jalen Brown is going to be one of those players that we are definitely talking about for years to come because we're already talking about him. All right, let's see if we can 
All right, we're at 14 minutes, not too bad. Next player, Devin Booker. I mean, uh, do I even have to say anything about Devin Booker? <laughs> uh, this is his fifth year in the league, and Devin Booker is pretty much a superstar. That's all I'm going to say. So, a couple more guys left. This man right here, Pascal Siakam. Rookie card, definitely a sweet card to find as well in your stash. Uh, we all know about Pascal Siakam too. There's really not much to say about him. I and mean, the dude's uh, a reigning NBA champion, and uh, I mean, getting close to being one of the best players in the league. Now he's not like top five or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, but Pascal Siakam is uh, definitely a beast. Second to last card here, we got Ben Simmons rookie card. Another player that is pretty much. Um, I mean, there's really not much to say about Ben Simmons other than the fact that uh, he needs to work on his three <laughs> a little bit more. But, I mean, Ben Simmons is is definitely a star in the league. He's going to be, I don't know about if he's a superstar right now or anything, but he is definitely, definitely killing it with Philadelphia. They got a nice little young core there. Hopefully they can keep it together. Philadelphia has been known for kind of, screwing things up a bit uh the whole trust the process thing took uh quite a while so uh but they got ben simmons out of that out of that deal and i think uh ben simmons is going to continue to work on his game and probably uh, be that player that uh, we know that he can be especially once he develops that three-point shot last but not least guys i saved him for last for a specific reason this is actually another card that I got out of one of those like Orange Fairfield um, repack boxes from Target, and uh, we all there's really not much to say about him either. Boom, Anthony Davis rookie card, marquee 2012-2013, and we already know the deal with Anthony Davis. He's killing it. He is a dominant player in the NBA. And him and LeBron James are chasing that championship. And this is a pretty sweet card. I like how it's got that, obviously, that rookie part right there. It's see-through. So this is a thicker card, and they, I don't know. I just thought it was a pretty cool card. I don't know the comps on it or anything, but, I mean, Anthony Davis, come on. Definitely a uh, perennial all-star uh, and maybe a future NBA champion. I don't know. We'll see here in a couple weeks uh, when the uh, – the bubble really gets gets going so that is it guys um like i said hopefully this encourages you to kind of go through your older cards see what you guys got uh because i did not know that i had any of that so you never know what you got hiding in the boxes guys so that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video i appreciate you guys watching i know it was a bit of a longer one sorry about that uh but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.